Hi. Today in this video we will be exploring the supposedly impossible puzzle in which you have to connect three utilities to each of these three houses without any lines intersecting each other. So, the basic idea of this is shown in the sketch here where each utility is connected to each house through a total of nine lines. However, in this example there are many lines that have crossed over each other. This breaks the one rule of this question where no one line may intersect another. If you want to pause the video here and have a go at the puzzle for yourself before I reveal some possible answers, then do so now. After trying a few methods for yourself, you will usually find that you can connect all but one utility to one house, completing eight of the needed nine lines. Here, we have seven of the nine lines completed. When we try to connect the final two lines, we notice that however you draw the eighth line, you will always block off access to the last needed connection. So, here, if I zoom out a bit, if we try and connect water to house number three, what we will be doing is now blocking off any access of getting to house number one from gas. And the exact same rule applies if this was mirrored and gas were to be drawn to house number one, we wouldn't be able to have any access from water to house number three. So, many people at this point will resort to the internet. After looking on YouTube, I have seen the main two ways that people consider the puzzle to be solved. The first, and one of the most viewed methods on YouTube, is the door and window method, which is shown in the sketch here. Although many may disagree with me, I, myself, do not agree with this method, as in my opinion it is modifying the original idea of having houses that connect directly to utilities. As well as this, the line shown here is now crossing boundaries, lines of the houses, which leads back to the idea of not having any intersections. Another one of the popular methods shown on YouTube is this one here. In this method, one utility has been connected to each house on the top face of the paper, and on the bottom face of the paper, the lines are connected from the leak through of the ink of the utility on the upper face of the paper to the link through of the ink of the houses, also from the upper face of the paper. I also disagree with this method, as it is not a direct connection from the utilities to the houses. For example, if I used very thick card and tried to use this method, the lines will not actually connect to the houses or utilities on the upper face of the paper, as the ink would not seep through. After looking at those two methods, I would like to introduce another solution to this puzzle, which I believe to be correct. So, in this sketch here, you can see the first five lines drawn of the nine lines needed to complete the puzzle. As discovered earlier, however we arrange the lines on the top face of the piece of paper, we were always left with one line that could not be connected. Now, to move on, you quite literally have to think outside of the box. If we start with our base sketch here and draw two lines that run around the back of the paper from the water utility and connect them to the two remaining houses, like this, here you can see the two lines going from the water around the back and up to the two remaining houses that didn't have water we now only have gas to connect however when we try to do this and I'm just going to zoom out a bit here however when we try to do this in the same way that we connected water we run into the problem where two lines will intersect on the back this is not allowed here you see from the gas utility, similar to water, we're going off the edge of the page, following around the back, but here you can see the gas lines are intersecting the water lines. This isn't allowed. To overcome this problem, we'll have to create another route in which the two lines of one of the utilities can run. In this case, it'll be water. Now take these two sides of the paper, in fact I'll use this one as the example, one, here it is, take these two sides of the paper 
and fold them around. As a result of doing this, not only do we connect the water lines without the need to run them around the back of the paper, but we have also now created a torus. If you do not know what a torus is, a real world, world example of a toroidal object is a donut or bagel shape. Now we can remove the lines that were on the back, and that will leave us with a much neater sketch, like this one here. Now, all that's left to do is connect the gas utility to the remaining two houses. Because we have solved the problem of two utilities crossing over on the bottom face of the paper, we can now connect the gas to the houses in the same way that we connected the water to the houses when we first drew around the back. After doing so, you are left with this, where we draw the gas lines going around the back. And as you can see, no lines are intersecting. Now, this is not valid as it is because obviously the water lines don't connect up. So, to make the solution valid, all we have to do now is connect the two sides of the paper together, like so. I would sellotape this, but I don't have any sellotape. So, Although this may be in some way similar to the second YouTube example shown earlier, where lines were drawn on the back, I agree with this solution, as the lines do come from the utilities this time, instead of just magically passing through the paper from the leak through of the ink. I know there will be many people agreeing or disagreeing with this solution, so feel free to express your disagreements or criticisms in the comments below. Also, if there is a similar puzzle to this one that you would like to see answered, also be sure to leave that in the comments section, and if enough people have asked, then I will upload a video on the suggested puzzle. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video.